it's here. This is the camera that started it all. This is what got me into the filmmaking realm. Like, this is it. The GoPro 10. Like, this is the OG right here. This is the original GoPro I would just, just crush with. Here's what I wanna do, because there's a ton of videos already out there about this, this GoPro 10. Right now I'm shooting on my typical setup with the Sony a7S III, the nice overhead microphone, everything is just cleanly set up, nice light, but I wanna take this and I wanna see if this can just bring me back to my roots and solely use this for a full vlog. Okay, as mentioned, we're fully switched over to the GoPro 10 now. I got this, this nice media mod. Hopefully it's enhancing the audio. I have this screen on the front, I can see myself. Uh, we are not gonna be using this. We're gonna leave this behind the whole time. My hope for this video is to be able to show that like you can use this one tool to make a really great vlog, video, whatever you whatever you want it to be. That you don't need a massive fancy rig to be able to just capture some great content. It's 5.30 in the morning right now. We're gonna get a little bit of coffee, we're gonna go work out. <laughs> In and out, we're done. Workout, I was gonna go get some Starbucks, but the line is pretty long. Yeah, not gonna go get Starbucks, too long. If you guys, uh, if you do work out and you haven't tried these, they're these hip and core bands, a little plug for them, crossover symmetry, check them out. Just a great activation before you start your workout. I use them every time. They also make like shoulder bands, keep the, keep the muscles a little nimble. So we're gonna go home, pack up, and uh, head to the airport. The high school rush is coming right now. I had to go the back way. All right. So this is a good test of the uh, modular extension for the GoPro to see if the wind, there's a little uh, like foam all over the microphone. See if that works pretty well. Showered, packing up. We're actually going to uh, <clears throat> visit my wife's family. The only thing I don't like about GoPro, if you're trying to like vlog and stuff, is having to connect, re disconnect, the, the you know screw it in. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. But 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 it is 8:15. We're leaving in 20 minutes. Need some coffee. Need some food. And then we'll head out. Are you so sad we're leaving? And it sucked to drive a trash truck down here. Rooney. Oh, Rooney. Rooney, you're hurting everyone. Can you calm down? Are you gonna go stay with Mimi? <laughs> He's going psycho. <laughs> Rooney. Having some minor malfunctions with the GoPro. Keep saying SD card error and then it was doing a wobbly thing and I don't know, hopefully it lasts. Might have to return this thing, get a new one. I got cut off, this GoPro is like freezing, the SD card isn't working. We just got to the airport. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to use this thing on this trip now, which is super disappointing. I might have to send it in. I don't know if it's the SD card or the GoPro itself. So going to try and replace the SD card, see if that's the issue. Might have to do like some factory resets, but like not 
that's not cool. That's not cool. Like, if I had my regular camera, we wouldn't be interrupted like this right now. So, I don't know. This might have just shut me down, but we'll try and make it work. We got to our destination. We're at my in-law's house in Bismarck, North Dakota, and I had to offload the footage when we got here yesterday. Went and got a new SD card for this, just in case, um, because I didn't know if that was the issue. So, offloaded the footage. The footage was working which is kind of weird since I was getting all these errors and the camera was freezing. So I was able to like keep all the footage that we shot yesterday, reformatted the card. I think it was the SD card, not the GoPro. So I'm a little like relieved by that. Sorry, I'm going to pick this vlog back up from where we left off yesterday. So I didn't get to capture all the cool, unique airport vibes that I would normally do with this thing. So we're going to the pumpkin patch today and apparently it's the best one in the nation, possibly the world, according to my wife, and uh, see if that's actually the case. We're gonna use this a little bit more, capture some cool stuff. Morning. Look at that giant, we gotta show Aspen that pumpkin. Pumpkin has to be a Got that same SD card error. So I am thinking it's something with the GoPro. So I might have to shut this down and just uh, redo it all again. All right, back in the office. Unfortunately, I had some issues with the SD card that was in the GoPro. So I had to pivot. Like we went on this little vacation to visit my wife's family. I want to create a whole like full fledged vlog with just using the GoPro was unable to do that. Got a new SD card for it. We're good to go. It wasn't the GoPro, thank God. Long story short, it cut my uh, vlog into pieces, just shredded apart and uh, trashed my brilliant idea of like going through the airport and doing all this fun vlog stuff that you would do with a GoPro. What I wanna do with this video now, cause I did get a little bit of vlog sense in this video and uh, you just saw it. Looking back, I think my first impression of this GoPro, I do think there is is merit to say like, if you're just starting out and you're just trying to capture like some vlog style material and this is the camera that you have, by all means, just go for it. Uh, the quality now isn't as great as using a Sony a7S III with a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. That being said, like on the running gun, and to be able to have an action camera that has 23 megapixel stills, uh, the diversity of a GoPro is by far way better than a big DSLR rig. If you're on the fence, if I'm trying to push you one way or the other, I would say go for it. We are currently shooting with both my Sony a7S III above and the GoPro 10 right below. So I wanna show you going back and forth, uh, just to give you an idea of the different pictures. So I'm gonna be switching back and forth. You can get a sense of what the audio is too. So right now for my main setup, I have the Sony a7S III with the NTG4 right above here, which is usually gonna produce a very high quality image and picture and sound. Now right below, switching back, Switching over to the GoPro, we have the modular setup with the GoPro, so it's gonna give you a little bit of an enhanced audio. Now I wanna get into a couple of the accessories that I highly recommend uh, you have with this new GoPro system. Uh, I'm mostly gonna be using this for action sports, for different angles, for uh, my FPV system to throw it on top of the drone. And 
The number one accessory that I will probably be using are these filters, these ND filters. That's gonna be the first accessory I would recommend is the Polar Pro filters. Number two, a good like selfie stick or just, just pull of some sort. Now this one's from Telesin. They were kind enough to send this along. I love this one because it's a three meter pole, so you're getting extreme length. Like this thing is just absolutely no joke. Let me see if I can get it out. I'm currently like way across my room. It's like Mary Poppins bags where it just like it's never ending. All this will be linked down in the description for you guys for easy access. The next accessory I want to talk about is this suction cup. This has also been provided by Telesin. The ball joints in this one are extremely strong and durable. Like you, it's not some cheap plastic. You can attach it with a, a microphone with a light on it and it's still gonna hold that weight in a horizontal position. One of the most important accessories, and I, I sh probably should have said this one first, but extra batteries. Make sure you have extra batteries so you can last throughout the day. Another cool accessory that I really like is this on the bottom, but just a mouthpiece. And the last one I'm gonna leave you with is the Media Mod. I do think there's quite a bit of an enhancement with the audio, especially with the Media Mod attached. You are using this solely for vlogging. Definitely consider getting this, especially like if you're outside and you're in windy conditions. This knocks down the wind up to 20 miles per hour, which is huge. Riding the one wheel, coming home from the gym, I had no real wind issues. Uh, and I was moving about 16, 17 miles an hour on the go or on the one wheel. So I apologize for the pivot in this video. Not my intention. That was an unfortunate little incident with the SD card. And I'm glad it wasn't the GoPro 10 that failed on me right out the gate. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, do all the things because in the future video coming up shortly, I want to test this on the FPV system. Okay, just count your losses. We're done. I'm out. I don't know. The remote's over here. We are